Welcome to the overview of the Allegro graph relational data integration and the R2 RML graph generation. We'll start with a sample database. I prepared a medical records database with the patient, treatment, lab, and diagnosis entities. We'll use this as our input. We'll also need to define the data source. We store this information in Allegro graph. I define a data source one, and I will use this as our input into the talent process definition. I created a sample talent job. It starts with a fixed flow input that will provide our data source name. In this case, it's our data source one. We'll start the processing with the component from the Allegro graph triple store palette called the Allegro graph relational data source input. This component accepts the data source sign and generates the metadata as defined in a triple store. We'll wire these up. Now the relational data source input has to be configured for the server URL, repository name, user, user ID, and password. We'll use the medical records repository and our sample user ID and password. The data source URI is being provided by, by our fixed flow input. Now we're going to add the R2 RML mapper. This is the main component of the flow. It accepts the relational data source metadata and generates R2 RML mappings. We'll need to define the base URI for all of the mappings. And we'll also change the output format to RDFXML. We'll wire these two components together. Now the R2 RML mapper produces a set of triples, and we can visualize that using a logger. This will verify that our process is executing correctly before we actually decide to put these into the Allegro Graph triple store. So I started this process, it's executing, and we should see the R2 RML mappings in RDFXML format. Here is where we see a status message that R2 RML mapping generation has finished and we see our RDFXML document. Mm -hmm. Logger and replace it with an actual Allegro graph connection. Again, we'll use our triple store Allegro graph components and Allegro graph output. And again, we have to configure this component for the repository connection. We'll wire these two together and execute this job again. Now once this finish, all of the triples should be inserted into our Allegro graph triple store. We can open graph and browse our medical repository. And we can visualize our triples. Here's our data source. And now our, our data source has a mapping. This mapping has a basic metadata, like generated date, time, and a type, as well as a set of triple maps. These are defined in R2 RML specification. Each triple map contains a subject map, which defines how the subject is being generated, as well as predicate object map, which defines all of the attributes of that entity. And we see here that this is the subject map for uh, our entity diagnosis. It's of a class of diagnosis with a template for generating the subject ID. And we see that our R2 RML mapping that we just generated is tied into our data source. We can browse our patient triples map, as well as the remaining treatment and lab. And now we see all of those are R of type triples map. And that concludes 
using talent and allegograph plugins to generate the R2 RML mappings.